A man accused of killing his girlfriend and dumping her body in Wahiwa has been granted supervised release. 21-year-old Kaniala Avila Raposa charged with murder and the death of 19-year-old Nelly Beth Albert back in May. Sarah Madison here tonight with a follow -up. Sarah. Howard, the prosecutor's office opposed his release, but Avila Raposa's attorney tells us DNA evidence supports that Kaniala did not kill her. Under supervised release, Avila Raposa will be living with his parents again. Because he's diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder, his attorney says Kaniala already has social limitations, but he's allowed to leave the house with his parents. Avila Raposa's attorney says the court considered several factors in today's hearing for supervised release. Throughout the investigation, there was DNA uh, collected, and the results came back with. Um, I say within three weeks ago, and we were provided them excluding Kaniala as a possible contributor on the DNA collected from Albert's body. So that means that none of his DNA showed up uh, in the specific areas uh, where they were where, where they were collected. Without going into further detail, but they are critical uh, for purposes of the case. Deputy Prosecutor Tiffany Caeo tells us they will not discuss evidence of the trial at this time, but Avila Raposa's charges still remain. They will continue with his trial scheduled for October 29th. We'll keep you posted of any new developments on this case. Howard.